Intergalactic Hydrogen is my company. We work with all the cleaner fuels. Um, we recognize that there's a fuel hierarchy pyramid. You know, the dirtiest, longest string fuels are down at the bottom. And we work our way up to renewable hydrogens at the top of the pyramid. And that's what we're, our focus is on. There's not enough of any one of these fuels to satisfy everybody's demands. Although there is infrastructure for all these various fuels around the country today, you can find seven different fuels around the United States of America for less than the price of gasoline or diesel. So we build multi-fuel vehicles. This vehicle can run on hydrogen or natural gas or ethanol. It still retains the ability to use gasoline, but I have no need to use gasoline, and I haven't in a few years. Yeah, now you have a little sticker here, the E85 compliant, 85% <laughs> ethanol, but now this one can run on variety, right? Right, I, I buy E85 as a last resort to gasoline. Last year I only used a few gallons of ethanol, uh, which is primarily my, I use natural gas because it's so available and it's so cheap. Mm. Uh, here in Utah, natural gas is about a dollar a gallon equivalent, but you go up to 18% further on a gallon equivalent of natural gas and you do gasoline. So we look at the front here, there's the filling nozzles. This one's for hydrogen, and the other one over here is for natural gas. When I'm oh, okay, so gas, hydrogen, hydrogen's right here. Yeah, that's the hydrogen. So it's as easy as that then, huh? I feel it, the hydrogen nozzle right on there. So yeah, so it looks like you just plug it in there, if, if I had one, right? Plug yeah. it in, fill it up, you're good to go. It's a high pressure gas. It's kind of like filling up the air in your tires, but it's a much higher pressure, 3,600 and Now this, 5, one's, this one's natural gas, right? That's for natural gas. They're separate, they're different, so you don't mix them up, because a fuel cell car that can run on hydrogen you put natural gas in it, would, would it. Would it be okay to pop the hood real quick? Yeah, we could, can do could you that. do that for me? Or? Natural gas, when we burn it, you can see some of the pollution in the air here today. Burning natural gas is up to 95% cleaner than burning gasoline. And then hydrogen is completely clean, right? So. Yeah, it's negative emissions. Well, today when we have a little pollution in the air, just burning natural gas, the air coming out the tailpipe is cleaner than the air we're breathing. Mm. So even natural gas can clean the air. As well, natural gas is paving the highway to hydrogen. All the components that make this vehicle run on natural gas are the same components that make it run on hydrogen. Basically, this is the stock 3.4 liter V6 Tacoma engine that came with the truck. I put on a free-flowing air intake, a plasma booster, as we mm, talked okay, about. Okay, so there's the free-flowing air intake, right? And this is the all-in-wonder unit right here. This will take 3,600 PSI in, whether it's hydrogen or natural gas. It's a four-stage regulator, brings it down to atmospheric pressure, delivers it through this vapor hose, through this fuel ring, into the air intake. Okay. So from that point forward, we have ah. a combustible mixture. So we start out here. This is your regulator, right? You're yeah. basically a fuel inlet. Then it mixes it in. Through this vapor hose, into this venturi. It's basically a dry gas carburetor. It's a venturi. So as the air is flowing through it, it's sucking the fuel from the zero pressure diaphragm. Okay, so you've got fuel coming in here, and then air coming in here, and they're going into your manifold right there. Right, so we have a combustible mixture from that point forward. Uh, this is a system that works. It's a system that uh, proves that it works and shows that it works. It's not the best system. We have another vehicle come in here uh, that, uses a lot, that utilizes a sequential multi-port injection. So in that system, we retain all the gasoline injectors for the vehicle to use gasoline or ethanol, but we add another set of injectors so it can use hydrogen or natural gas or any blend of the two. And that's another nice thing about natural gas paving the highway to hydrogen is that when I'm here in Utah, I can fill up at the natural gas station and on my way down to California, I can stop in Vegas and fill up at the hydrogen station and run a blend of hydrogen and natural gas until I get to California. And it gives the consumer the choice. Going back to you know the choices at the, at the supermarket, well, you should have the choices at the at your fuel store instead of your gas station. You should be able to go into a fuel store and have all the the options right there. And you could see, oh, ethanol's uh, two fifty a gallon here, and natural gas is a dollar. I'm going to fill up with natural gas today. Or you can find at the next station that hydrogen's fifty eight cents, and whoa, ethanol's five dollars a gallon there because hey, it had to be shipped in. It wasn't made locally. So you're going to probably use the hydrogen there. It's so cheap. So that's, that gives the, the power back to the consumer. Utilizing all these fuels makes us independent. It also allows the people the ability to make their own fuels at home. Well, well now, out of curiosity, because get back to the inlets here, you have the inlet on the front. This one's the natural gas, right? The, the LNG or, or? Natural gas. Natural gas. gas, okay. So this is a gas form. So now it goes in. I see the little, this is the tube on the inside. Yeah. And I, I don't know if I can follow it well with the camera. But, but it disappears back there, so your, your fuel tank isn't under the hood for this, right? No, it's, it's in the it's back. back there. It's in the back of the truck. Okay. 
this is just the tanks that were available to me. I could get long skinny tanks and t have the same storage volume. Oh, I see what you're saying. These are just these this is two, what you found. So These two large tanks will hold about six kilos of hydrogen, which is enough to take this vehicle about 175 miles. We get about 39 miles on a kilo of hydrogen. A kilo of hydrogen has the same energy content as a gallon of gasoline. But a gallon of gasoline will only go 18 miles. So when you can go 39 miles on a kilo of hydrogen, we're increasing both the thermal efficiency of the engine and the mechanical efficiency of the engine. So hydrogen is definitely the fuel we want to use. Yeah. The step below that would be natural gas. If these two tanks are full of natural gas, it's about 24 gallon equivalents, and that'll go for a range of up to 500 miles. A uh, gallon equivalent of natural gas will take this vehicle about 21 miles. So again, compare that to 18 miles on a gallon of gasoline, we've increased our efficiency still. The, the, the tanks do take up a lot of volume, though, and that is the, the, the one drawback of compressed gaseous fuels is they take up a lot of space. But if we had long skinny tanks, we could put them underneath the truck bed, and you would have your full truck bed still, and you'd still have the same storage volume. But really where we're headed is, it's our goal, is to build vehicles from the ground up around the fuel tanks. Then the frame rail can actually become the tank. Mm. You don't have to have any extra storage space or any extra storage area because these tanks are so durable and so tough and so strong that we could actually literally make the frame rail out of them and store the gaseous fuel inside the frame rails. Mm, okay. Then you're not losing any space. Or again, we could modify the, the body and the, the design and the chassis around the tanks. Yeah. And, and that's, that's where it starts to make a lot more sense because then you don't give up anything. You've got your multi-fuel capabilities, you've got the range that you require, you've got the storage space that you desire, uh, and you get to save some money for your pocketbook and you support our local economy, which in turn increases uh, our nation's security, uh, 